Well, it's inspired by Wes Anderson's love of the New Yorker and his love of short stories and his love of France, all mixed together into a beautiful melting pot that only Wes Anderson can do. It began as a holiday. Eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into the French Dispatch, a factual weekly report on the subjects of world politics, the arts, high and low, and diverse stories of human interest. You don't think it's almost too seedy this time? No, I don't. For decent people. It's supposed to be charming. In this film, I'm only involved orally. I, this, as a song that I sing, uh, it's called Aline. It was a French hit back in the 60s. And it's used, it's, it's like a song on a jukebox in uh, one of the kind of places where the film is set. So that's it. I'm, I'm the voice of a fictional pop star called Tip Top. Tip-tops and what? Wes Anderson asked me to be in it, and it was like uh, um, being anointed by the king or something. I mean, he's just, uh, I just adore him. I adore his work, and I adore working with him. He's amazing, a filmmaker, an amazing artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wes Anderson says, do you want to be in this one? You say yes. It's always the most interesting stories, and he has a style that I don't think anyone really... Um, has mastered as well as him so it's always a pleasure it's always fun and you always see a bunch of friends and it's like going back to summer camp someone described it as a sort of breakneck ride through a bazaar and i think that's a brilliant way to look at it plus there's no one like wes anderson so come get some of that just have fun you know it's a it's a good fun story um and as long as you have a good time and you leave with a smile on your face then great one hour to press you're fired really? don't cry in my office Thank <laughs> you.